Llama 3.2 is outperforming OpenAI at its own game with multimodal AI, voice tech, Arkansas glasses, and more. Folks, today we're diving into the latest meta developments. They're revolutionizing AI with Llama 3.2 and other impressive technologies. But can this open source approach really transform how we interact with AI? And what's next for the Orion augmented reality glasses? We'll explore these questions and more so buckle up this video is packed with info you won't want to miss to kick things off comment below if you think meta can dominate ai's future with these new technologies don't forget to like and share this video link in whatsapp and telegram groups to keep your friends in the loop deal shall we dive in here's a quick teaser before we start Meta launched Llama 3.2 comma causing a big stir in the AI world. Let's see why this model is so groundbreaking and game changing. Stay tuned to learn how it's beating ChatGPT in some key areas. Llama 3.2 comes in various sizes fitting different needs. For lighter use like mobile apps, there's 1B and 3B models. They're great for less demanding tasks like text summaries. For more robust needs, 11 11B and 90B models are incredible. They analyze text and images, ideal for visual data projects. And that's not all. Llama 3.2 was tested on 150 plus data sets in many languages, including Portuguese. These models were compared to other major AI systems like Anthropix Cloud 3 and OpenAI's GPT. One of Llama 3.2 quote as biggest strengths is its ability to process huge amounts of data like hundreds of book pages without slowing down. This is ideal for tasks involving large info volumes such as creating long content and analyzing complex reports. It also comes ready to work with eight different languages, making it versatile for various markets. If you're aiming to create multilingual solutions, Llama 3.2 might be your best bet. For mobile apps, smaller models can run on device, ensuring quick responses and privacy without cloud reliance. For those needing real power, the 11B and 90B models can process text and images at the same time. Imagine analyzing a document with scanned graphs and tables. The 90 billion parameter model does this easily, perfect for fields needing advanced image processing. Plus, there's Llama Stack a toolkit for easy integration and deployment of these models across platforms. Did you know Meta's betting big on open source AI models? The goal, create an AI Linux, making these tools accessible and customizable for everyone, but that's just the start. In the next few minutes, you'll learn what else Meta's cooking up. Got questions? Drop a comment below. Beyond AI, Meta is pushing other tech frontiers like augmented reality. At the recent Meta Connect conference, 15 min recap video available, they showcase projecting images, games, and even people into the real world using just AR glasses. Talk about an immersive experience. Here's the kicker though. It's still in testing with a launch expected around 2027, maybe sooner. For now, only select developers are trying out the Orion glasses. Meta is aiming for a sweet spot between lightweight, discreet eyewear and in daily life there's the Ray-Ban Meta for music, photos, videos and AI access anytime. It's Ray-Ban glasses and a robust RVR headset, heavier and larger for use at home or office. I'm talking about MetaQuest which we'll discuss next. Orion glasses would combine Ray-Ban Meta and MetaQuest features but be lighter and discreet discreet enough for street use. Meta also launched a new, more affordable VR headset, the Quest 3S. For those wanting to explore VR without breaking the bank, this could be the right choice. Meanwhile, Quest 2 and Quest Pro are being phased out and the standard Quest 3's price has been reduced. It's a great chance for those looking to dive into virtual reality. One of the coolest new features is Meta AI's ability to respond with celebrity voices like Judd Dance and John Cena. Now when you chat with AI on WhatsApp, Messenger or Instagram, it can reply using a familiar voice. But that's not all. The AI can analyze chat images, edit them, remove objects, and even change backgrounds. Imagine how much this could simplify your daily life.
You can interact using voice or text commands, offering more flexibility. On the business front, Meta keeps expanding its AI tools for advertisers. Over 1 million advertisers already use Meta's AI to create campaigns. The company reports encouraging results. AI campaigns show an 11% increase in click-through rates and 7.6% in conversion rates. They're also developing systems for custom images based on user preferences and testing avatars using personal photos. It seems Meta is truly committed to leading AI evolution and innovations like Llama 3.2, Arkansas Orion glasses and new AI features show this ambition in my opinion. The most interesting part is the open source approach allowing anyone to customize the tech to their needs. But what do you think? Will Meta's strategy revolutionize how we use AI daily or is there still a long way to go? Share your thoughts and let's discuss. This video doesn't end here, it continues with our conversation in the comments. If you found this video interesting, like share and subscribe.